and welcome to another episode of Crafty Mom's Weekly Challenge. This week, we're getting ready for Halloween and we wanna get our front door looking a little bit more spooky. How do you do that? Well, I'm glad you asked. You go to Pinterest and you find adorable, bat-decorated front doors and you think to yourself, hey, I can do that. Or can you? We're gonna find out. So I'm gonna put bats all over our front door. It's gonna look like Halloween. It's gonna feel like Halloween and people are gonna think, Darn it, my neighbor's in the spirit of Halloween. And that's what you want. So where do we get these bats that we're gonna put on our front door? Well, it's easy. A lot of people on Pinterest are getting old school construction paper and stencils or cookie cutouts and they're tracing and cutting and taping onto their door. Very simple, however, a lot of work. And if there's one thing I hate, it's hard work. I like things easy. God bless Martha Stewart for making my life easy today by creating already pre-cut bats. Let's get started. I'm gonna give our spooky bat door a Pinterest win. Even the scarediest of scaredy cat kids is not gonna be afraid of this silly little bat door. It's cute. You guys are pinning some real winners lately. I'm enjoying this. The only problem I see with my bat door is I feel like there aren't enough bats on it. So maybe I'll trace these onto that construction paper and make a few more bats for myself because I'm certainly not gonna drop another 10 bucks on a packet. So. Be sure to join us next week for another episode of Crafty Mom's Weekly Challenge. Very spooky. Very spooky. I kind of look like a bat today. <laughs> 